It's not what you think. Muti are lovely little Italian dumplings, lightened with ricotta, and in this case, peppered with sage. They're simple and uncomplicated. Just give yourself time to roll, boil, and enjoy. I have a friend who's a food writer in Seattle, and she recently blogged about making muti, and she's inspired me to do it as well. Now, I should say that muti are little Italian dumplings. She makes them with stinging nettle, which are these wild greens that she foraged in her rubber gloves because they're very spiky and stingy. We're not going to go that far. I'm just going to make a very simple muti with ricotta and nutmeg and a little sizzled sage in brown butter. So start just with some delicious, fresh ricotta. Beautiful, white, creamy ricotta. Some Parmesan cheese. One egg. And some breadcrumbs. These are seasoned already. You could use plain, you could use panko, which are Japanese breadcrumbs. Gluten-free breadcrumbs if you want. Whatever you need. A little pinch of sea salt. Black pepper. And nutmeg. Nutmeg is one of those really special spices. It's actually a seed and it is so delicious in both savory and sweet recipes. And as soon as you grate it, your kitchen smells like Christmas. I'm just gonna head in here with a whisk. Get everything off and just start with the egg and mix everything as well as you can. You can tell by the texture it is ready. And I want to say it is ready to make nudie, and it sounds <laughs> so dirty, but really nudie actually does mean naked. It is true, and it refers to the filling inside the ravioli. So it's like the filling without any ravioli, it's naked filling. You need to coat the balls in a little bit of flour, so it's nice to start already. And this will also keep these little guys from sticking to your hand. So you're just sort of self-coating. If flowers on your hand. Look at that little beautiful ball. Just ricotta, breadcrumbs, egg, nutmeg, salt and pepper. So simple. I'm going to stop right there, wash my hands, and I'm just too impatient. Let's get going on these. The water is boiling. Lots of sea salt in your water because you really want your water to taste like the sea or the ocean. Okay. So we're going to use our hands. These are delicate little tubes. Dumplings cook below the surface of the water. And when they're almost ready, they just float up like buoys. Then you just leave them there for just a minute and scoop them out with your slotted spoon. The water comes out, and the food stays on the spoon. This is the flour collecting on the surface. All right, so they float to the surface. Just leave them there. Hold back. Don't scoot them yet. Let them cook for about a minute. Not too much longer, or they'll start to disintegrate, but just give them some time. Just put them right back where they started. Just so plump and yummy. Okay, let's turn off the water for now. Let these sit for a bit. There is nothing more delicious than brown butter and sage. It's the simplest, most delicious sauce. Brown butter in a pan. Let it heat up. And to the pan, also a little olive oil. It will keep the butter from burning and add some flavor. Now, sage is one of my favorite herbs. It is so soft, and when you just rub these little leaves, it releases such an incredible flavor. And there's something about the fall. Sage leaves taste so good with dumplings and squash and all those autumnal things that you crave. Nice little pairing. Just 
pick them straight from their little stem. Using your hands, because they are delicate little balls, place the nudie in this butter. I'm going to make this many for now. If I continue on, I'll eat them all. This doesn't take long at all. You're really just warming these guys through. There. That's it. All those leaves. And a little bit of that sauce. Sharing recipes near and far is just the best. Take a picture, post it online. There might be someone out there who is dying to make nudie and they didn't even realize it. Take a massive fork and just dig in. Start with a sage leaf. It will just melt in your mouth. There's really nothing better. Tuck in. Mm. They are like little nutmeg pillows of deliciousness. See, I told you Nudie was special. Give it a try. Don't worry about shape. It's all about fresh ingredients and cooking for others. Heartfelt Thoughts, Nudie.